it. Sharp, brother. The corduroy you, velvet. Yeah, what is it? Merlot? It Murray, yeah, right? it's us. This had to be kind of a dream come true for you, right? I mean, you've been racing, what, 20 years? Yeah, close to that. Right? No, it looks like, yeah. Thank right? you. Yeah, it's been a while. It's, it's been, been a while. number of years. Yeah, it's a dream project. I've always wanted to do this movie. Michael's been trying to make it for 30 years. I remember reading it about 15 years ago. Okay. And, um, oh, really? Yeah, but I think also it shows you the, the success of Drive to Survive, the appetite for Formula One and certain racing uh, films in general. Yeah. And, of course, uh, Ford versus Ferrari did so well um, that this is a different movie, uh, but it's a beautiful story, and yeah. it was a dream job. I got to do all the driving. I was going to say. We were in Italy. Weren't you the only one that could do all the driving? You know, Jack was great. He could be, I think, a really good driver if he had time behind the wheel. Right. Um, we all had time at the track, but I had uh, a great opportunity to do all the stunt driving and to be a part of that group. So it was really uh, tremendous. At any point was somebody like, okay, listen, you don't have to do all of the driving. Well, they couldn't get me out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, see. I see, I get it. And the testing was great because I'd be like, just uh, let's do a full run and go and have fun. I, bro, I, I know you were in your element for sure, but what did it feel like to look at you in the mirror with the blonde hair? Were you Did you dig it? Were you into it? Yeah, I was really into the transformation because Tarufi yeah. was a phenomenal driver, uh, you know, lived to be about 80 years old. So I think that to be able to play him and to do that physical transformation with the hair, it was a painful process. I have a lot more respect for women who get their hair dyed platinum blonde because yeah. I can get a chemical cut after that, which means that the hair gets fried and it f starts to fall off. Yeah. So that was the most difficult part was getting that set right. Jeez. I mean, it, it was it's a no brainer to me. It was the the people's sexiest man alive. I mean, come on. I was like, the, the, look at the man's hair the, it, of that alone. It should, it should qualify. We were, what did it feel like? I mean, to, to, what were the reactions from friends, family when that cover came Apparently out? They were all laughing and then they were debating on who should get it, who was popular and things like that oh, so oh, like instead of just you just like everybody else so it's uh it's fun you know it's it's very flattering it's good for your ego yeah. and uh it's great after all this time to kind of get that kind of recognition going into the fall it was very nice and you look great i feel like your wife for sure is a part of the the key i saw the video without question without her i would never have been uh, in in the contention i love it okay we were uh, this is my last question for you we were with um Oh, I saw this. Yeah. Wait, wait, you saw it? Yeah, yeah, someone sent that to me. He's never had it? Never had it. First timer. <laughs> what? Oh, no, look at the I know, McDreamy. That was my reaction when I found out, too. Was it really? Yeah, yeah I was quite surprised. I was actually on an airplane. Go. It was very early in the morning, uh, flying back to Maine. I was in New York for uh, an event. And I got a call at like 7.30 in the morning. I was like, who's calling me at this hour? God, right. I must be in trouble. Something's right. happened. Something has happened. Something has happened, and uh, that's how I found out. And I was like, you got to be kidding. You're joking, right? So it's, it's been fun. It's nice. There he is, folks. There it is.